Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and spiritual updates for Monday the 13th of June through until Sunday the 19th of June 2022. As we move into this week ahead, we are experiencing the build up and the lead up to the full moon in Sagittarius. This full moon is considered to be a super moon and that is because it is close to the earth. We are going to be experiencing the peak of this if you are in the southern hemisphere on Tuesday the 14th of June at 9 51 p.m. So depending on where you are in the world this may be occurring earlier in the day for you. If we think about the energy of Sagittarius and Sagittarius is my sun sign there is a sense of adventure and positivity and joy and wonderment and excitement and you know this this has been a tough time for many people in the first half of this year we've had lots of planets in retrograde we've had the solar eclipse season and it's felt quite heavy you know there's been a lot of soul growth there's been a lot of learning and a lot of opportunity to dive deeply into all that is hidden within ourselves that needs to be resolved in that this is the right time for that healing to take place for you and your subconscious your soul will only bring to the surface that which you are ready to process and only bring to the surface for you that which you have access to resources support and help that will allow you to have a safe space in order for this growth that you are experiencing to occur at this time we're also being asked this week to really review what is it in your life that you are feeling ready to release and let go of what are the positive changes that you can make now for you that may be having a look at your health and what are the habits and behaviors and patterns that you have in the area of your health your physical health that no longer serve you for your emotional health you know perhaps there are limiting beliefs and thoughts and situations from the past that you're holding on to that you are reliving constantly and are yet to fully release that to learn from that and to let it go and this is a powerful time this week for you to be taking action steps towards investigating who or what would serve you in supporting you in in releasing all that no longer serves you the Sagittarius also is the wisdom seeker we are the truth seekers we want to know what this world is all about we want to know what our purpose is we really love to learn and gain wisdom and knowledge from a spiritual perspective as well you know we are the thought-provoking thinkers you know what if what if it was this way or what if it was that way or what if I did this this way and so we're also being invited and encouraged to come back to our heart space and ask ourselves you know what is it that brings you joy where can you where can you find the joy in your life that may may be playing with your children or spending time with loved ones getting out in nature getting your hands in the earth and spending time tending and nurturing your gardens it's it's a powerful time and it's a powerful moon but it's also a much gentler energy because you know it has been intense in the first part of this year as we are now in the middle of the year officially this is also a good time under this full moon to reflect back on the intentions that you set for yourself at the beginning of the year and ask yourself are they still in alignment with your pathway forward your goals are they still aligned to who you are now because we are continuously evolving and growing and changing 
and it's okay to change your mind you know nothing is set in concrete and that is the message and the energy of the week ahead for you and my invitation to you is to include in your daily practice whether that's journaling gratitude journaling a meditation practice whether that's a mindful practice a breath practice perhaps it might just be a daily grounding practice or a daily connecting into your heart space through breath and in my last few videos that I've shared with you that have been some beautiful practices that you can continue to use every day. So if you would like to place your hand on your heart for some Theta downloads, closing your eyes. I know what it, I know how to live without suffering. I know how to live without doubt and fear. I know how to live my life without uncertainty. I know how to live my life without taking on the suffering of the collective. I know how to stay focused on my path and create my dreams. I can create a life of great ideas and follow my intuition easily and effortlessly. I can easily create success in my life. I know how to live my life in perfect harmony with a pure heart and I am grateful as I find joy easily all around me in all areas of my life. Say yes to receive. Take a deep breath in. Asking my beautiful guides for a card of wisdom to support you even further on the week ahead. And our beautiful guardian angels, a reminder that your beautiful guardian angels, the divine beings that have committed and aligned themselves just to you in this lifetime, they're there just to walk with you on your journey, on your pathway in this lifetime. And they are more than ready and capable and excited to support you. All that you need to do is ask for that support. Your life is a canvas. Creative accountability manifestation. You know, and as we come into this full moon this week and you actively and consciously choose what it is that you are ready to release and let go of. The reminder here is, is that you are an incredibly powerful co-creator with the divine source of all that is. You have the power to change your life. And the invitation with this is for you to get really clear on how it is that you want to live your life. What are the kinds of people that you want to be surrounded by? What are the experiences that you want to have? How is it that you want to feel? What are the relationships that you want to experience? And focusing your attention and intention on how you want to experience that. And as your thoughts and your emotions and your feelings and your images, your visioning align to that, you are setting yourself up to powerfully call that into your life at this time. So I hope that these messages have served you well. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. And there is so much love there for you each and every one of you, and you are worthy of receiving that love. Namaste, blessed be, and I'll see you next week. Bye.